In this specific video of QBasic for Beginners, we are going to solve one QBasic program related to mathematics. The program name is Write a program to input perpendicular and base of the triangle and check whether that is right angle triangle or not. So basically what is the formula? What is the property of right angle triangle? You have to remember that. Let's go to the screen. Let's see how to write the program. If you are new, just subscribe to my channel and watch the previous videos, which is for beginners, so you can learn QBasic. QB64 is easy to use. If you want to use this, you can download this by watching my video, which is available in same playlist. Okay, now program is to input perpendicular base and hypotenuse of triangle and check whether it is right angle triangle or not. Okay, first of all, I will write here CLS and I will input these values perpendicular base and hypotenuse. So I will write an input because we need this enter perpendicular base and hypotenuse hypotenuse of triangle so I will write here for perpendicular P for base B for hypotenuse edge so these are the three values we need for this program so then after that right angle triangle or not so basically we have to know the property of right angle triangle the property of right angle triangle by using the Pythagoras theorem is the square of hypotenuse is equals to the sum of squares of other two sides. Square of hypotenuse is equals to sum of square of other two sides. As you can see here, hypotenuse square is equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So you have to use this same formula here in Q basic by using the if statement. So if h for hypotenuse, h square is equals to perpendicular p for perpendicular square plus b for base square then if hypotenuse square is equals to perpendicular square plus base square then we have to print it is right angle triangle else if this condition is false then we have to print it is not right angle triangle we have used if so we have to write here end if and then end there are other property of right angle triangle also but we are dealing with this value so we have to write this formula here is the output screen so enter perpendicular base and hypotenuse of triangle so i will enter value for perpendicular is 10 and then comma because we are e using here comma 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 for three values so for base i will enter 5 and for hypotenuse i will enter 15 i will press enter button so it is not right angle triangle because this condition is false hypotenuse square is equals to the perpendicular square plus base square so run the program and enter the different number and check whether that is working or not. So I will enter the random values like 12 and 5 for now. So it is also not right angle triangle. So this is the formula. Just we have to input the values which you need in the program and you have to keep the formula by using the if statement because we have to check the condition. If condition is true then this is right angle triangle else not right angle triangle and if and end. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button and share with your friends. Have a good day and see you in the next video.